here at the end of lockdown, we understand that we've got uh, financial responsibilities to keep this whole process running. Um, there's obviously costs and that needs to be weighed up. So we're just currently, before we start back, we're just balancing the books. Three. How many do you think I can get on my head? Comment down below. Oh. Four. That's too far back. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Magic box. Eight. So, in maths, all this week we've been telling you about angles, lines that meet. They can meet at a right angle, which is 90 degrees, which looks like this. They can meet at an acute angle, which is less than 90 degrees, which looks like this. Or it could be a variety of acute angles, it's not just this one angle, anywhere yeah. between zero and 90. And they could also form an obtuse angle, larger than 90, but less than 180 degrees, which looks like this. And remember, anywhere between 90 and 180. But we've got a problem. We have. We've had, we've had a few complaints. We have. Because, place. frankly, we have mentioned a few times that where these lines meet, and according to government regulations, they should not be meeting at all at the moment if they are not from the same household. So today we're going to talk to you about two groups of lines. The socially distancing lines. Well, well some of them are. that's one group. So the lines that are not from the same household who should be socially distancing and lines that are from the same household and how they can meet. If you don't believe us and you think we're talking absolute gibberish, you're absolutely right. But we're still going to tell you anyway. So first of all, let's have two lines on our board. Now at the moment, these lines are just placed on there. Well, but they are a certain length. If I was to extend these lines, you can see that the current angle they're at, if they were longer, they would eventually meet. Now, we're not going to be talking about those lines today. We're going to be talking about the lines that meet an exact angle. So let's just rearrange our lines so they're like this. Now, you're already recognising these two lines that meet as a right angle. And yeah. you're absolutely right. Now, these two lines, therefore, are from the same household. They do not have to socially distance. Um, they still have to be alert, but they can meet. But they meet at exactly a right angle. Not any other angle, not an acute, obtuse or even larger than 180 angle, exactly at 90 degrees. So we call them a special name. The special name for two lines that meet at exactly a right angle are called perpendicular lines. So they meet at exactly 90 degrees, okay? So anytime you see two lines and they meet at a right angle, no matter which orientation they are in, they are perpendicular if that angle in degrees that which they meet is 90 degrees. So those are lines from the same household, perpendicular lines, meet at 90 degrees. Now, Mr. Restaurant, tell us about the lines that are not from the same household. Yeah, in this current climate, if you meet anyone outside your household, which has to be just one person at the moment, you have to be socially distant, two meters apart. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some lines that actually follow these rules. Have a look at these, this pair of lines here, okay? Now, as Mr. Ray said before, we could extend these lines. We could make them grow that way, or we can make, them, yeah, or we can make them grow this way. Yeah. But no matter which way we extend these lines, they would never ever meet. They'd never touch, they'd never cross. They're a bit like a railway track, which always stays the same distance apart. And we have a special name for a pair of lines like this. These lines are called parallel. We dreams of para, para, parallel. Para, para, parallel. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, they're called parallel lines. They do not touch, they do not cross, even if you extended them for infinity, yeah. they wouldn't touch. So there's our two types of line pairs today, if you like. We've got parallel lines that never meet, and perpendicular lines which do, do meet, meet, but and exactly only at a right angle. Yes, so it's very important to say if the lines continued forever, because if, when you look at your task sheet down below, if you see two lines that aren't meeting currently, don't assume that they are parallel. As Mr. S said, you must extend those lines, and if at any point in the distance they meet, 
then they are not paralyzed. They must be able to go on forever and ever and ever, all around the world, and continue and never, ever, 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 ever meet. And don't just assume that parallel lines only work if they're like perfectly horizontal or perfectly straight. They could both be diagonal lines as long as they're not going to meet if you extended them. They're still parallel lines. So your task is down below to do with that. We'll see you later.